I've been um, working on this concept for the best part of 20 years. Um, in 2003, um, I went with a colleague, Dave Watterson, to Sweden to meet Hans Eek, who was the co-founder of the Passive House Movement. And as a result of that, um, eventually government in the Isle of Man built the Janet's Corner Passive Houses. Happily, it got the concept of Passive House into the Manx market. Effectively, from there, myself and various colleagues started to look at what we could find in the market or develop in the market that would produce a house that was much quicker to build, was affordable, sustainable, etc. And then about five years ago, I met the lovely Me. Steve Crowder. People have all come together to help us. And I think that's the reassuring story that we want to, you know, people to realise that this is a long development and things are all coming together. And I think that's the positive aspect of this, as well as affordable homes. It isn't just about zero carbon or affordability. We've also worked very hard on the landscaping. And we see this really potentially having a, a, an impact on the UK housing market because the UK has huge challenges too. Yes, you could put solar panels in. There's a lot of add-ons, but the reality is, from the set perspective of a sustainable and affordable property, with what we've got, with off-peak electric heating, with the super insulation, with the air circulation heat recovery, um, you really don't need to go much further than that. It has the um, ventilation heat recovery system in which is the core of the whole passive house concept so that you've got you seal the out you seal the outer envelope um, you're looking at get, achieving um, air tightness levels of below 0.5 air changes at 50 pascals an hour which is very 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 low basically the fresh air from outside is brought in it, in a heat in a very advanced heat exchanger here you've got the, the hot stale air going through them and the two pass over each other through a honeycomb system and the heat, majority of the heat from the stale air passes into the fresh air. So you've got this continual flow of fresh air into the building, effectively recycles in excess of 90% of the otherwise waste heat that would just dissipate through normal ventilation. In the, in the winter, the winter quarter, I had a 1.5 kilowatt heater on off-peak to keep the place warm and that maintained the temperature throughout the, the winter when it was minus three, four, five, six at effectively 14, 15 degrees. When we were working in there, within a matter of an hour or so, the temperature went, was going up to 18, 20 degrees. And when the plumber came in, um, he, he, we, we had to open the window. So you really, you, you really will end up with a house that's actually just putting energy back into the grid. Uh, and that's where, we, that's where we'd like to go. What we would like to see is whichever developers take it forward, we would like to see an operation that ensures affordable homes. I heard about the Isle of Man and effectively you know, developed a great love for it. And so when, when the opportunity came to move to the island, I took it up and I believe that the Isle of Man can set a standard for sustainability right across the world. And I, I think this is what we've got really, something that is a, a, a great starter. And I think there are other projects out there and I think that once you start to come together, let's see that you know you can turn on the news and at least know the Isle of Man's doing its bit. Just tomorrow, today.